Now that we've had the animation tool from Canva for a little while, here are some tips and tricks to help you out when you're animating. So the first tip and trick is going to be how to move something that is off the page. So you want to you want to have something that's off the page to start off with. So the best way to do like that is if you have text is use a space. And we're going to do that and we're going to put that over here so that space goes up. Come on, Bubba. There we go. So now if I want to animate this, because when you animate, you have to have a piece of whatever you're moving on the actual page. If you take it all the way off, let's duplicate that real quick. So if I take it all the way off to animate it, it's going to disappear. It's gone. So if I wanted to animate it from off the page, I can't do that because it's not on the page at all. So your remedy for that is either if you're coming from the bottom, put a whole nother line underneath of it or the top, same thing, put one up top. And then you can animate from any which way you're going because you can hide your text and start your animation. So when you animate, click on your animate, then it can come down. This is very sloppy. I'm just doing this. So you have something to pull from. Same thing if you want to do it from the side. You have that space, but you don't see the text. Oh, my animation is still on there. It's going to, woohoo! All right, delete that path. So the same thing. Oh, come on, honey. Delete the path. All right, go out of there. Same thing if you want to go from the side. So that's easy to do with text. You can put a space. But what if you have an element. So here's my workaround. So let's go in here and, and pull out any random old element. Let's do this one right here. So what I did with that is I duplicated it and you can use anything. You can use a square if you want to. You can use anything you want to. And what I did was take the one and I took the transparency down to zero. And then what you want to do is group those together. Now you can take it completely off the page and use it to animate. Now here is another tip that you need to know. If you have items that are grouped together, always before you push the animate button, go into position, go into your layers and click here. Because if you don't and you just click on this box thinking the whole thing is going to animate, a lot of times only one element within your group will animate. So you have to go into here and get the whole group together and then push animate and then your animation can go. So we're going to delete the path on that and then I'm going to show you. So now we can take that completely off, go into position, click that in your layer, animate, create animation, and now you can go and it'll come on and, and show up out of the page. So when you play it, it's coming from outside of you. So that is tip number one on how to do that when you're using something off the page. Tip number two. So let's get a... Let's see. I want a little car. Let's do a car. So let's get me a little car. Let's see. Can I change the color on that one? I kind of want something I can change. Yes, I can. So let's flip this little car around this way. So what I can do now. So say I want to have a little car race. So I'm going to go and I'm going to go into animate. I can do my animation. Make it go across. Always hit steady. Okay, and I'm done with that. So now I want to have a car race. So I want, I can duplicate that. And I can duplicate that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to change my colors on my car. This one's a purple car. This one is a blue car. Oh, well, let's do a green car so they look different. But when I copy these, all the animation stays with them. So your animation will stay with them. Even though if you notice something, they're a little bit off a little bit. But depending on what you're doing, that's not a big deal. But also if you're doing a car race, so say I copy this animation from here to here. 
So I can go back in, say I want this one to be the winner. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to speed number two up. So number two is really fast. So you can go in here after the fact if they're on the same line that you want to use and change the speed. So you can get your cars going any way you want them to go and do that. So that is another tip trick. And also another thing you can do is if like confetti out of petals. So what I did is I took like one petal. I duplicated these. I kind of changed the colors on them. But I duplicated these and then I took three and then what I did was I animated them all differently. And then let's move it out and then we're going to do this one. We're going to animate this one and we want this going slow. Steady and then same with this one. We're going to animate this one. And change the speed of that one slow. So now I'm making my own confetti. And so now that I have a bunch of these, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit there and copy these and put these all over the place. And then I have my own personalized confetti that I've made. And that's another trick you can do. And then when you play it out, you have your confetti falling however you want it. Um, you can also take the Take these and spin them around a little bit if you want them to do something different. So if you see that one, it, oh, we don't want the cars. Let's go in here and you can see that one is, is sideways. So you can also change the orientation of that too. And that will make you some personalized confetti. Also, another thing that can be done too, if you're using like photos, um, and you want to do an animation and switch your photos out. What you can do is use a frame. Let's pick a frame. Let's see. I got one in here somewhere. All right. So like, so I want to put a photo in this frame. Maybe, maybe oh, let's make it smaller. See if it'll take in the frame. Come on. There we go. So say I got this photo in the frame and I do an animation, animate, and I'm going to animate it and I'm going to drag it across here steady i should be using my shift key to make them but and then what i want to do is i want to duplicate this page here and i want to change the photo so what i'm going to do is go into here and change the photo out so now i can go and do this and it's going to be the same spot the same thing so you can do that over and over again if you use a frame. So with, if you're using photos, that's a good tip you can use to change things out. And then I can just duplicate that again. If I wanted to, I can duplicate the page and then I can change into another photo. And then, you know, let's adjust our timing a little bit here and then we'll play that. And then it's the same spot. Oh, that was way too fast. So let's uh, spread it out a little bit. But like I said, you can, It'll, it'll just look cool. So those are some tricks and tips you can use in Canva with the new animation tool. And if you have any other tips and tricks for us to kind of learn from, please leave them down in the comments. Because together we grow and learn things. And if it wasn't for like some tips that people gave me on my carousel, to make my carousel even easier for everybody... I would have still been doing it the hard way. So we work together to make great things. So let's make great things together. And I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye from Michelle.